just read something super insane, super crazy, and I just, I needed to share it with everyone because it just seems so topical at the moment. This is Metaphysics of War by a guy called Julius Evola. I thought this was going to be a sequel to The Art of War. It kind of is, but like, it literally isn't. This guy is Italian. Um, this book is a collection of like his essays or like articles in some sort of Italian magazine or something over the span of a few years or so. There's one crazy essay that I want to talk about specifically and it is called Army as Vision of the World. As you can already see, Army is written in quotation marks and it's because he's alluding to BTS and their fan base Army. Now, why does this guy know about BTS when he died in like 1970 something? <laughs> I don't know. That's the most insane part about it and no one is talking about it. Um, apparently he had some book on magic and he's been in like some magic cult circles or something but he's gotten everything right so far. So in this article or essay he talks about the rise in Korean pop music um, and then BTS's debut in 2013 and how they named their fan base the ARMY for a very very strategic reason. Evola then talks about their rising popularity and how it leads them to more socio-political circles um, outside of Korea. Um, that they even become partners for the UN, they do speeches for the UN, and they meet with the President of the United States this year. But the worst part is yet to come. He talks about BTS and their hiatus that is happening at the moment, and how they are using it in order to plan their world domination in the near future with their fan base, with their army. The rest of this book is talking about the consequences of BTS and their army ruling the world. He talks about the caste system and how we will be ruled by the slave caste, which is the lowest caste of them all. And here he's talking about BTS and their army, of course. He explains how bad this is for humanity by comparing it to when the world was ruled by a warrior caste, which was one of the highest castes and the metaphysics of war during that time. In the end, the takeaway of this book is to obviously warn us for the world to come when BTS and their army dominate the world and it does not look good, guys. We have to start adopting the Aryan warrior body, mind, and spirit in order to defeat these guys because we can already see the consequences like online. It's just, it's looking horrible. They're, they're plaguing like the earth. So I will be preparing myself and I urge you guys to join with me because as much as I love BCS, this book has opened my eyes to the consequences and I can't let that happen to humanity. So to any of you army watching this video right now being like, yes, slay, BTS kings ruling the world, this is a message to you. I will fucking destroy you. You might be thinking because I'm a small Asian girl that I belong on your side of idolatry and emotional excess and chronically online mental illness, but Evola has taught me that my soul has a race too, as well as my body. And my soul has a race of an Aryan <laughs> <clears throat> And my soul's race is of an Aryan 6'4 gym pilled Chad. And I'm coming. I'm a pioneer. I'm an explorer. I'm a human. And I'm coming. Anyway guys, isn't that just crazy? That's all I have for today's video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe and comment your favorite BTS member down below. Mine is J-Hope and he just released a new album called Jack in the Box. It's so, so, so good. Please stream it and I'll see you in the next video. Sorry.